Okay, welcome back to my uh, part 12 uh, ESX or vSphere project. This is about high availability and DRS, uh, but I'm not sure if uh, DRS will be included on this one because we have only a time frame of uh, 10 minutes video. So the first one we should do when we are going to create high availability cluster is to create a new cluster on the main uh, data center. Uh, in my case, that's Trudel. And let's just name that one as A cluster. And we will use HA4 now, not a combination with DRS or either or. And we will enable host monitoring on this one. And we will use do not power VM when there's availability constraint. And host cluster folder tolerates only one for now. And VM restart priority. Let's just use the default, medium, and shutdown. And enable VM monitoring. Hi. Um, we will not enable uh, enhance B motion. EVC. Uh, store swap file recommended for now. And click finish. Okay, a cluster is already created, and I think we can just drop this one inside. Okay, just doing that. And I'll pause it for now. Okay, one is already inside. Let's put the other one too. Just drag it to a cluster. And it's like that, 80%. And let's put the last one. Drag it to A cluster, and I'll pause it on the. Now, when you put it on the the cluster, the the third is still uh, configuring the HA. They will be listed as like this. Okay. So in this case, it's hard to identify which server belongs to that ESX host so but if you are on the cluster you can just uh, select this this tab and you can see which one is running which so all of them is running on ESX3 let's just distribute this one on the ESX1 finish you know it's because um, this one is nested and it's not that fast okay DB server now is on ESX one and let's fire all of them okay we will demonstrate one of them to uh, to have um, host isolation, so let's put the ESX3 in isolation mode and let's see if it's going to uh, migrate to the other ESX, either ESX1 or ESX2 and we know that ESX1 already have one uh, VM Let's see first if all of them have uh, tools running. Otherwise, the uh, the failover will, will not happen. So Red Hat is not running on VMware's tool yet, and VMW 2003 is not just updated yet because it's out of date. But for sure, that will be okay later on. Um, another uh, the requirements for the high availability uh, features of VMware or ESX is that uh, they have um, storage uh, common so that's either of one of uh, all of them are running on the shared storage either open one or open two and then of course you need to have uh, 
and the second requirement is you need to have uh, DNS and we have um, all of them are have DNS uh, entry on DNS server um, Red, Hat, uh, Red Hat 4 is there so um, let's see again if VMware tools is okay Red Hat is okay and W2003 is okay okay let's power let's isolate uh, ESX3 and we can do that on the next the other desktop okay so what we can do is just um, you know suspend this one let's do that so it's suspending on B center let's see what's happening here so ESX3 is supposed to be have an error right as you can see uh, the W2003 is powering on and ESX3 have now read uh, alert and we can see that uh, W2003 is now back is now on ESX1 and Red Hat now is ESX2 so that what what happened when uh, when one of the hosts is isolated so it will uh, you know it will power on the, the, the server on the other host so HA have a uh, Mini, um, a minimal downtime unlike the fault tolerance which is re really zero uh, zero outage and also Microsoft or, or Linux or other Red Hat uh, clustering that they you know it's called fault tolerance or zero downtime okay let's see also the behavior when it's uh, the host <laughs> just just came back Okay. See here it's powering on virtual machine and Red Hat Forest go back to ESX3 and W2000 goes back to ESX3. So that's the behavior on a nested or it's running on workstation. The ESX is running on workstation. They just go back. Okay, everything is um, okay now. All the statuses are okay and VMs are running on each host either ESX1 or ESX2 another type of failure on HA is uh, is of course the if the guests fail and I don't know if we can demonstrate that by forcing one of them to to turn off um, <coughs> with the ESX isolation we can uh, post this one or even you know I should have uh, shut it down but it's it's not good on my situation because I want to preserve something. Um, so let's try to uh, shut down Windows 2003 by force, and let's see if it's going to do migration. Uh, I mean powering on on another uh, host. So let's do that one. It initiated the shutdown OS. Oh. I think it's still doing the proper shutdown. Uh, it doesn't doesn't shut down the improper way. Still, I think doing the the proper way. So we cannot demonstrate that that uh, uh, failure on the guest OS. Um, actually, it did. It did uh, since this is on ESX3, right? So it goes to 2000. Uh, the 2003 now is in ESX1. Um, so this will conclude my.